Let's go. Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and today we're checking out a new game called My Summer Car. This has been heralded as the drunken autistic Finnish version of Jalopy. I don't really know what else to say. These are other people's words, not mine. So, this is considered one of the most difficult car building simulators in the universe. It has permadeath, and you have to urinate and drink beer and eat Finnish sausage. I don't exactly know what Finnish people subside on, how they survive. I thank God that there is some English language here because you can see it says Sukunimi Ethernamium, last name. Oh, Jesus. Here we go, boys. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with, uh... Oh, you don't even need a first name. You can just begin with a last name. <laughs> We're gonna go with Grace Dill Place. You can put your picture here, which is kind of cute. And supposedly this takes place in the 90s. I don't know what this... Oh, it was granted on 10-24-1995. Oh, that's interesting. It's using today's date. Well, not that today is 1995. You, you know what I mean. All right, let's start this off. This is made with a Unity engine. But from what I've seen of it, it is ridiculously complex. Like, someone had to sit there and do all of this. And it blows my mind that they took their time in order to do it. All right, as you can see, it's much akin to a survival-style game. So I'm going to go build this as a survival-style game as well. We have a urine, hunger, thirst, and fatigue bar. We also have some ice cold beers and some sausage sitting out here looking around. Oh god, this reminds me of the long dark. Look at all the cabinets, but you can't interact with any of them. What can we interact with? We can interact with the refrigerator. I don't know why we have our sausage just laying out like this, but let's go ahead and throw it on in there. Same thing with the beer, man. The worst thing in the world is warm beer. The worst thing. Let's go ahead and put this thing. Oh, oh sweet Jesus. Up, oh, hey ho. Oh, the, the beer's dancing, man. Right about there. Yep, everything's working just fine. Can I close this? Okay, good. So this is what a finished house looks like. Very retro. Looks like we have a... Oh. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> Homo hyper clean? Okay, if you guys didn't know, this is obviously a comedy style game. Don't take it seriously. This is clearly the bathroom. Oh, and then a sauna. Wow. This is this is actually a very impressive house we have going on here with our our homo hyper clean freaking detergent. What's out here? A beautiful backyard with 4.8%. I'm assuming that's a an alcoholic beverage of some sort. Now, the the primary purpose of this game is obviously to build- No, not to go into the sauna. Is to build yourself a delicious summer car so that we can enjoy the finished countryside. Is this a living area? Wow. Can we turn on the TV? My life will be complete if we can turn on the t Oh, wow. Yep. You sure can. There it is, boys. Finished TV at its finest. I guess this is the- What the hell? Topless <laughs> guy. Ha ha. <laughs> what? Is this a- okay. We'll come back. Is this a real show? Do I have any Finnish people that watch me play games? Please tell me if this is real or not. Oh, it's a bedroom. What is with the AstroTurf closet? I'm very interested about this. Okay, let's go outside and start building our car. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I had to look up how to build this freaking thing because building cars in <laughs> in my summer car is legit all right it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't fuck around let's go grab the subframe here with the middle mouse button you can kind of like whirly gig it around C for crouch you have like a mid crouch and then like an ultima crouch uh, right about there looks good now we need to screw this stuff in as well it doesn't just you don't just get to pop it on in oh no You've got to grab your freaking cult tools over here. We'll just, uh, I don't know. We'll drop that right down there. There we have it. You got to open her up like one of, up like one of these, right? Nope. Come on now. Oh, 
open the fuck up. There we go. Holy shit. Okay. So you got your toolbox here. You need to grab your appropriate tool. Not like that. We need to go into, I think we have to press the two button on our, there we go. And now we can start messing around with bolts, assuming we have the right spanner. That is not the right one. That's not the right one. Oh, for the love of Jesus. All right, seventh time's the charm. There we go. Yep, you gotta drive your freaking bolts into the heart of Mordor, old school style. Now, one thing I wish that did happen was I wish that these bolts showed up. See how they're like bright green? I wish that that happened like all the time so you knew where bolts were. But that's part of the realism of the game. If you don't remember to tighten everything down, when you finally get your vehicle together, if something's not tightened, it'll like crash and you'll die horribly. Do we have everything in? God, I hope we do. Ah, whatever. If we don't, it'll just make it more interesting. So from here, if you remember, we'll go to one to get out of tool mode. On any vehicle, you need your wishbone suspension here in the front. So let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, front left, FL. All right, so let's uh, let's see here. Right up. Oh Jesus! Oh, kind of whirly gigging around here. Oh my God! Oh, hey, huh? you son of a! Leave it to you, giver. <laughs> it is the sprig of pussies for sure. By the way, there's a cursing option in this game if you didn't know. So, I believe it's N or something to curse. You you can do a couple of things. I think you could uh, you could give people the middle finger as well. All right, let's go back over here and see if we can put the freaking wishbone in this time. Yes! Yes, damn it! That's what I'm talking about! This thing has freaking screws as well. So we need to make sure to get those nice and tight. What other curses do we have? All right. Now, I'm assuming that that is legit. I'm assuming that is how you say pussy and finish. Let's go get our other wishbone suspension over here. I kind of wish that there was a run as well. In all of these Unity games, isn't there always like a sprint? I feel like there is, but not today. Now we just kind of move at a very sluggish pace, crawling along on the ground. If that's... Oh, Jesus. Now, that may just be part of the realism. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, when, maybe when you're in Finland, you don't run anywhere because it's really, really hot. Let's see if we can... Oh, yeah. Things are working out great. From here, I think it's going to be... What... Oh, Christ. <laughs> Hold on. I'm coming. I'm trying to build a freaking car. Now, there is a phone here. Here we go. Hello, I would like to buy a flatbed load of firewoods. You can deliver them anytime. Uh, it's a beautiful language. A beautiful language. Oh, he's still talking. All right. Yeah. I feel like that was more than than just I'd like to buy some firewood. Okay, so part of this game is making money to buy food and drink. We have our we have our shitty van over here that we can drive over to the wood cutting area. So let's give that a shot. Now, as you can imagine, just like putting together your car, how that's a pain in the ass. Driving is kind of a pain in the ass as well. Let's go ahead and... Oh, Jesus. Let's go ahead and step in here. Turn on the old car. And uh, we just got to kind of... Just sort of... You know, you got to... You can't... Hold on. You, you really need to aim up when you're getting into the vehicle. There we go. Just kind of just kind of teleport. Just kind of teleport from the, the ceiling there. Close the old door. There we are. Now with things on... We've got to hold down on the ignition. You can't just press it. Oh, come on, baby. Yes. Now we've got to throw down the handbrake. Got to get that handbrake all the way down. And there's shifting involved, too. All right, we are off. Here we go. Now, if you've ever seen me drive before, you know I have a little bit of difficulty, like, normally. So I'm really curious to see how the driving is in this game. Oh, Jesus, little touchy, little touchy on the driving. Oh, mother of God. Yep, everything's just fine. Now we have to find out where our wood processing plant is. I think it's like somewhere over here. We got some barns and there's our flatbed. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's, uh, hold on. 
Go ahead and turn off the ignition here. Uh, I guess we should probably throw on the parking brake and enter to get out of driving mode. Can I open? Can I? Oh, there we go. I was going to say, can I open the freaking door? So we got some gas laying on the ground. Let's go find out where the hell we're supposed to cut up. Oh, here we go. I found it. Nice. What is this? Is this like... Oh, it's just a bottle of booze. Well, that... Oh, shit. Oh, I just clipped it through the wall. Hold on. Let's kind of... Nope. All right. Well, so much for that. Okay, so you grab your axe. You grab... You grab your axe. And then... There we go. Look at that. What? <laughs> you grab your... You grab your axe, and you can cut your firewood with it. You gotta grab a log, put it down, grab your axe, and then, you know, there you go. Right like that right there. Did you see that? That was a clean cut. So now that we have a little bit of firewood, we're gonna grab it, I assume, and put it in the flatbed. And that'll make us some money. Why are we moving so damn slowly? There we go. Throw that in the flatbed. Do we get any money for this? No. Maybe we just have to take the flatbed somewhere. Maybe the flatbed is already prepared and we just need to go somewhere with it. I should probably close the door to the car. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering how to save in this game, you have to take a leak. So go ahead and use your save game at any toilet. All right, back to it. Now, as you can see, we already have a flatbed's worth of of lumber here, so I'm guessing we don't really need to cut up more, as shown by this this lovely graphic of a <laughs> of what looks like a postcard of lumber. Let's go and grab our tractor. I assume. How do you hook this thing up? Is there a trailer hitch on this? Uh, you no. Know? In case you guys were wondering, I become a freaking pro at chopping wood. What I was supposed to do was use the fire ox, not swinging around like a friggin' maniac with the cursor. That works out- OH JESUS! <laughs> Apparently wood is made out of rubber here in, uh, here in Finland. But now, man, we are chopping wood like freaking pros. The only issue is, I don't know where to bring it once I have it chopped. Alright, so we're inside of our, our lovely critter here. And now it's just a- hold on, let me shut the door. Right? You gotta really get close with your clicking. You gotta- right about- there. Nope. Ah, there we are. All right. So we've got a handbrake over here somewhere. Uh, that's the hand throttle. Where the hell's the handbrake on one of these freaking things? I've never really driven a tractor. Well, I have, but it's been a long, long time. Got it. It's over here in the corner. All right. So we take off the parking brake. And then... And then we... we and then nothing happens. Oh, there we go. Forgot to put it into gear. You gotta put it into gear to drive anywhere, of course. All right, let's just kind of shimmy our way over here. I imagine we gotta get all hooked up in there, have you? Now, when it comes to backing, I am a master backer. I just don't really know how to... All right, got it. Just had to press B enough times to actually get her going to the rear. Oh, yeah, we're gonna back right in here. There we are. We're set, man. I th oh, shit. Hold on. That's neutral. Yeah. All right. Well, we're doing it. We're real farmers now, baby. Just kind of keep it going. Now, I don't actually know where I'm, where I'm going with this. Do a little off-roading. No big deal. A little bit of black smoke coming out. Black smoke never hurt anyone. How many shift- how many gears are there in a tractor? Tractors go a lot faster than I had previously anticipated. There's our lovely homestead. We need to go past all this BS though. I imagine we have to deliver this down the roadway or there, have you? If, is there like a- like a heads up display that shows you which way you're supposed to be? Are these trees just sitting in the middle of the pathway? Yep, sure are. That's alright. Kind of go around them this way like this. No big deal. Is there a main road anywhere in this place? I understand this is the Finnish countryside, but damn it, man. Oh, maybe this is all we get. 
Maybe it's maybe this is our open world. All right, this roadway looks extremely promising. I don't actually know where I'm going, but I figure we get the opportunity to see a little bit of the Finnish countryside, you know? This is what it looks like. Very temperate. Like it a lot. Uh, clearly we have a huge piece of property or just no one else lives around us. I really wish I knew that I was, what is that, power lines? Or is that just floating leaves clipping through the air? Ah, eh, whatever. I really wish I knew where I was supposed to be going with this haul, though. If I'm even supposed to be going anywhere. All right, I'm not gonna lie. We've been driving for a while, and I haven't seen jack crap. This map is a lot larger than I had previously anticipated. I wonder how realistic the game actually is. What happens if you drive into the water? Oh, yeah. Right down into it, baby. Screw life! Oh. Wow! We got an all-terrain tractor here! That's what's going on. Okay. I think I've... I think I've had enough... Ugh. I think I've had enough of this BS for right now. Open, open the door. Get up out of here. Can you drink the water? No. Well... That's what I have to say, because I'm going to need to look into this game a lot more to figure out exactly how the hell it works. As the sun goes down on a beautiful Monday evening in Finland, let me leave you all with this gem. Satan. <laughs> hope, you guys, hope you guys enjoyed my summer car. If you have any experience with this game so far, let me know. This is... This has a lot of potential, but man, it is not at all intuitive. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. Boss.